Yes, lovely people. Hope you're well. Welcome back to another episode of Copish Catch Up. Just a quick short show on a couple of things that have come out. Luis Diaz's dad is talking about a move for Luis Diaz to Spain again. I'm not too happy about it. Going to speak about it. And unfortunately, Robbo has picked up another injury. Sit back, sit back, relax. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Hope you're well, people. As always, when we get behind the mic, please make sure you subscribe, comment and like. But also, people, if you haven't already, make sure you go and download the Sofa Score app. There's a little word from our sponsors. We're delighted to tell you about one of our newest sponsors at Sofa Score. That's right, we've partnered up with the highest rated live score app on Google Play Store and the App Store so you can access all your football needs at your fingertips. You get live scores and notifications straight to your phone. You can also follow your favourite competition from a choice of 600, yes I said it, 600 tournaments from across the globe. Plus, if you get fed up of us discussing player ratings, you get real-time sofa score ratings for each player. Not to mention heat maps, you can see where players really affect in the game. Shot maps, where are they taking shots from, where is Nunes going to score from next? Attack momentum and a player's average position. Pause. Pause. Follow your favourite players and look through the archives at different historical data as well. People, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description and download the SofaScore app or use the QR code on the screen that you'll see now and you'll be entered to a prize draw to win a Liverpool shirt of your choice. Once you've downloaded the app, send us a screenshot on social media or to our email which is teamcoppish at gmail.com don't delay, download the Sofa Sport app today. That's right, people. Click the link in the description or hit that QR code that you saw, and we'll play that just at the end of the show as well. So, oh, Luis Diaz's dad um, came to news this season because of the unfortunate situation that happened to Luis Diaz's dad and his mum. Obviously, they were kidnapped. Thank God they were returned safely, um, but a horrible, sh stressful ordeal that no one should have to go through. Absolutely no one should have to go through. And as a community, we got behind Luis Diaz, and rightly so. And thankfully, as I said, his parents were returned safely without harm. And since then, we've seen Luis Diaz's dad a lot more, whether it be at games and He's celebrating, he's dancing, and I'm going to be real, he looks like a really good vibe, a really good vibe. And look, I, I've got kids, and if if I got kidnapped and I got reunited with my children and my one of my kids was playing football, I'm at the games, and he's scoring goals, he's getting assists, he's doing good things, I'm going to be doing the same. I'm going to be dancing and all these things. But one thing I'm not liking since this has happened is how much he's talking to the media about his son moving to Spain or leaving Liverpool. Now, again, I'm going to be the first to put my hands up and say, guys, I love Liverpool. But I also understand that players have dreams and aspirations of their own. For example, if I was playing for Crystal Palace Football Club and I was a footballer and Liverpool came knocking, one of the first things I would do is I'd sit down with my manager and say, look, boss, gaffer, I really like playing football here. I like playing football under you, but that's my dream. I've I got to go there. I've got to realise my dream. I never had a problem with the notion of Coutinho going to Barcelona. Never had a problem with the notion of Suarez going to Barcelona. Alonso going to Real Madrid. Never had a problem with these ish, with these notions and these dreams and aspirations. But the way in which you go about it, for me, is an issue. Hence why Chabi Alonso can come back to Liverpool and be accepted. Whereas Coutinho and Suarez may not get the same reception. They might. We saw the Torres reception the other day and he, he got a fantastic reception. So you never know what it's going to be like. And I'm going to be honest with you. I do find it a bit weird and when that happens. But on the Diaz situation, I'm sitting here and I'm like, so Diaz isn't talking, granted, fair enough. But 
Diaz can easily pick up the phone to his dad and go, Dad, look, I'm, you know it's a dream. I know it's a dream. Hopefully it happens in the summer. But Dad, look, please stop going and talking about it. Like, please stop. Like, it's it's a bit much. He's done it several times now. And I'll, I'll read his latest quote. There was never anything serious with Real Madrid or Atletico. Liverpool was always more determined and concrete to sign Lewis. We haven't lost our hope yet. Lewis is playing very well and Spanish clubs are always active in the market. We haven't lost hope yet. That's fine to think it. Fine to say behind closed doors. But come on, man. You're going to say that on an interview that you know is going to be showcased to the world, especially with your son being a Liverpool player. Like, come on, where what what are we doing there? Like for me, it, it's it's bordering on disrespect now. And if you're going to disrespect Liverpool, then with all due respect, then you, you can go. You don't let the door hit you on the way out. Mm. Like we bought Luis Diaz. If he wants to use us as a stepping stone, that's fine. I can live with that. But if you're going to use us as a stepping stone, you and your dad be respectful about it. Let's let's be real about it as well. Diaz is a fantastic player, but it's not like he's been tearing up trees all season. He's had some good moments. But to act like you, your crap don't stink and you can't tell your dad to just keep it shut for a little bit. Like, come on, man. Do, you're a professional footballer. Like, get your family in, in check, respectfully. Like, again, don't have an issue. If, if Diaz wants to leave Liverpool this summer to go play for Barcelona, I don't have an issue with it. But you speak to the club about it, you keep it behind closed doors and you remain respectful about it. Sadio Mane, another one. He wanted to go buy Munich. How respectful was he? Played his socks off the very last second he was a Liverpool player. Didn't hear anything about it until the season ended or just as the season was ending. Why? Because he had that respect. You don't think there's people in Mane's entourage you could have sent out there to go and start putting little like breadcrumbs out there to get a reaction? Didn't. That's called respect. Where's it gone? It, it's it's really annoying me, this one. I'm not going to lie. Because we've given Luis Diaz a platform and we supported him. And I'm not saying you've got to spend the rest of your life at Liverpool or anything like that. I'm saying go and realise your dream. Just do it in a respectful way. And again, I'm just going to say it. Tell your dad to be quiet. Tell your dad to be quiet. It's, it's getting silly now. Um, next topic I want to discuss is, um, in fact, I'll ask you guys, do you want to actively sell Luis Diaz in light of what's going on? And Because I still want to keep him. I still do want to keep him because I think there's going to be a lot of changes somewhere and I, I want to limit the amount of change. I only want there to be change if it's absolutely necessary. So I'd like to keep him, Gakpo and all these other players who may split opinion. But let me know your thoughts on Diaz in this situation as it pertains to his dad and if that changes your mind on anything. Let's speak about Robbo now. Unfortunately, Robbo was playing for Scotland last night and picked up uh, what seems to be quite a bad ankle injury. It's not the first time he's had an ankle injury like this. If I'm not mistaken, he had one like this at the beginning of the 22-23, no, 21-22 season when we were chasing the quad. Um, if, if I'm not mistaken, in pre-season it happened. And I think that was the reason why Simica started the season. Um, yeah, very unlucky. He's turned his ankle. This could be one of two things. It could just be some bruising and a sprain, or it could be ligament damage. We hope for the former as opposed to the latter. Um, but one thing I will say, which is more positive than it would have been in the past, is we have cover for left back. So let's not rush Robbo back. And this is more a message to the medical team and club. Don't rush Robbo back. If Robbo is going to be back, let him be fully fit and healthy. Costas Simicas and Joe Gomez can absolutely fill in at left back while Robbo's out. Let him heal up properly. Let him rest and recover because we're going to need all of our players fit and firing and uh, uh, as best as they can be in the close and the run into this season. So Robbo, commiserations, man. Um, it's just really, you've been so unlucky both times with Scotland as well. Dislocated shoulder first time and then now this is just, I I really feel sorry for a player who, barely got any injuries before and to, to get two injuries in one season again we don't know the severity of the the latest injury but to get two injuries like this is is horrible man so yeah just want to wish you a speedy recovery robo hope you're back very very soon but liverpool 
we have covered it. Don't rush him back. Let him heal up fully. Um, also want to give out a shout out to like a couple of the players like Harvey Elliott, et cetera, who have, who have done really well in the international duty so far. Um, I think there's a set of games tonight, uh, Wednesday. So hopefully the rest of the players who are playing, if there are any playing, come back healthy and um, they are fine. I really hope they are fine. Don't want any drama with those players. So, yes, uh, people, it's just a short one today. I really want to, really, really want to know your thoughts on the DI situation and um, the comments from his dad and how you feel about it. So, please leave your comments below. Um, may have something later, may not, but make sure you keep the notification bell switched on. Smash that like button. Let's try and get to a thousand likes on this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Here's a word from our sponsor before I sign out. To I see you next time. Stay safe, stay blessed. We're copish around people. Take care. We're delighted to tell you about one of our newest sponsors at SofaScore. That's right, we've partnered up with the highest rated live score app on Google Play Store and the App Store so you can access all your football needs at your fingertips. You get live scores and notifications straight to your phone. You can also follow your favourite competition from a choice of 600, yes I said it, 600 tournaments from across the globe. Plus, if you get fed up of us discussing player ratings, you get real-time sofa score ratings for each player. Not to mention heat maps, you can see where players really affecting the game. Shot maps, where are they taking shots from, where is Nunes going to score from next? Attack momentum and a player's average position. Pause. Pause. Follow your favourite players and look through the archives at different historical data as well. People, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description and download the SofaScore app or use the QR code on the screen that you'll see now and you'll be entered to a prize draw to win a Liverpool shirt of your choice. Once you've downloaded the app, send us a screenshot on social media or to our email which is teamcopish at gmail.com. Don't delay, download the SofaScore app today.